All right, guys, Joe again here with Steel Ops. Um, we've already taken three shots on one of our XP Pro plates down there. Uh, we're gonna, one was with a 55 grain lead core 223, one was with a uh, 62 grain steel core 556, and the other one was a 123 grain steel core 762 by 39. We are now gonna shoot this with a 308. We're gonna be at uh, 60 feet. We are shooting this out of a 16 inch barrel uh, set me. Uh, this is literally the first time I'm firing this gun, guys. It's, it's not mine, so pretty cool firearm, but we're gonna be at 60 feet with a 308 on our XP Pro plate. So. Clear. I really hope I hit it. I can't tell. Let's go down and take a look. Try to put this gun on safe real quick. I don't know where I hit. Oh, huh. well, I don't know. We're, we're about to find out. Oh, it was up here in the corner. Um, so right there's our 308 hit. That's a uh, lead core 223, steel core 556, steel core uh, 762 by 39, and my horribly placed 308 round there. Uh, but we'll go on ahead and check for penetrations now. Um, nothing. Not even, not even as bad as the other rounds. So uh, we'll go on ahead and check our edges for fragmentation. Um, no cracks right there. There's no actual cracks. That looks like there might be a pinhole leak right there. That's usually a pretty good indicator when we see these little silver lines right there that um, maybe like a, a sliver of the coating broke loose and some of the gas escaped and that, that, that's lead. So let me go ahead and lick my finger. Um, but we'll keep working our way around the plate here just to make sure that there's no other breakage. Keep working our way around. And um, I'm gonna say guys that that is right at about an inch and three quarter, maybe two inches away from the edge there to that impact point. Um, but again, even with it being that close to the edge of the plate, we're still getting good uh, fragmentation control. Um, definitely nothing coming out enough to break the carrier by any means. So um, if it, it looks like some degree of lead did uh, come out a little bit, but with it being that close to the edge, guys, and already having three rounds on the plate, um, I'm going to call that pretty dang good. So, again, that was uh, 308 uh, from 60 feet on our XP Pro plate, full encapsulation. We'll call it 98% encapsulation and uh, no penetrations. All right, guys, Joe here uh, with Steel Ops again. Um, we've taken four shots on our XP Pro Plate down there. That's our 5mm AR600 um, Pro Plate. Uh, the four shots we've taken so far are uh, lead core 223, 55 grain, uh, 62 grain steel core 556, 123 grain uh, steel core 762 by 39. Uh, we did take a shot with a 308. We didn't have a grain weight on the bullet. It, it's probably 147. Um, and that was 308 at 60 feet. And now we're gonna take a shot with a 30-06. A um, little bit skeptical about this round. This is pretty close for a 30-06. Um, our plates are level three plus. So uh, level four dictates that you have to be able to stop steel core 30-06. Um, and I believe the velocity is 2750. These are not steel core rounds. These are lead core 30-06 rounds, but they are 150 grains and they are moving 2750 feet per second. So we are gonna be at 60 feet. Um, taking a shot on our XP Pro plate, though.
take a look. Okay, it would appear that that is our hit. I know that this is 55 grain, 223, that was steel course, seven, or steel course uh, 556, 123 grain, uh, 762 by 39, and then our 308 round was up there, so that's gotta be our 30 out six. Pretty cool, the smoke's coming out. Okay, um, there was your impact, and we do have a full stop. Um, much bigger bulge, obviously, guys, with the 30 odd six um, than the 223 or the 762 by 39. Keep in mind, these were at 10 feet, too. So this was at 60 feet, um, and it's still creating a bigger bulge. So a lot of energy there, guys. Um, I can see just a little bit bigger impact in the coating, but it doesn't look like anything's coming back out this direction. So we'll go on ahead. And we're just going to check all the edges of this plate, guys, and make sure that none of the fragmentation came out. Um, these marks here, that could be, guys, a little bit of gas leak coming through right there. Um, certainly no fragmentation, um, but maybe just a little of the air pressure from when the round hit. Um, certainly nothing metallic coming out of the um, out of the coating other than just the sticker and whatnot. So that was actually from our 308 round earlier. Um, so nothing there. We'll just work our way all the way around this plate. Again, pretty cool that the smoke's still coming out. That actually, that actually kind of tells you guys how well that coating is working because it's airtight. Um, and it's still trapping all that gas and fragmentation in there. So we'll keep working our way around. Um, does look like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I can actually feel it with my finger a little piece of copper jacket kind of sticking out of that coating right there. That's a good sign, guys. That's telling us that the coating is doing its job and uh, still stopping that fragmentation. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, great results there, guys, uh, especially with the plate already having one, two, three, four rounds on it, the 30-06 being the fifth round. Um, awesome results there. So again, that was 150 grain, 30-06. Box on the the, uh, the velocity on the box says 2740. I'm betting it's probably 2750 um, or or less, um, and that was at 60 feet out of a 30 out six. So uh, there you go. All right, guys, Joe here again with Steel Ops. Um, we've taken uh, five shots on our XP Pro plate so far. 55 grain lead core 223. 62 grain steel core 556, 123 grain steel core 762 by 39, um, what I assume is probably 147 grain uh, 308, and then some 150 grain uh, 30 odd 6. The 308 and the 30 odd 6 were from 60 feet, the 762, 556, and 223 were from 10 feet. We are now going to take a sixth shot on this plate, um, and we're actually going to do some 12 gauge slugs. Um, what we have here is the PDX1 uh, 12 gauge. That's a, a one ounce. Uh, it's a one ounce slug, and we're going to be shooting that out of a Mossberg 500. Nothing special. We are going to be at 20 feet. That's from the plate to the uh, muzzle of my gun. That's marked on the floor there at 20 feet. Okay, guys. I cannot emphasize enough. Do not do this testing at home. This is, I shoot a lot of steel, a lot of armor, and this makes me even a little bit nervous, so please don't do this. Um, this is way too close to be shooting steel, all right? Clear. Let's go down and take a look. Okay, so that was our impact right there. Obviously. Um, needless to say, guys, a ton of energy there. Um, 
there are few things on the planet that uh, compare to actual kinetic energy um, that you're going to encounter out on the street that are more than a you know a 12 gauge slug. So um, first thing I want you guys to notice is a the hole in the plate carrier, and I want to make sure that we before we even take this plate out that we check all the edges of this plate carrier. Now keep in mind, this plate has already got five rounds on it, so this was our sixth. And I just want to show you that that plate carrier is not damaged or torn or tearing or anything like that. Nothing, no kind of fragmentation is coming out of this that would have been lethal or even enough to probably injure you. So pull this plate out. Smokes. Holy smokes, look at that. So it's actually, guys, it's actually cratered this plate out. Um, and again, I encourage you to keep in mind, this has already got five rounds on it. So this coating was already starting to kind of wear out a little bit. It has actually bent that steel almost flat. This normally this plate has a curve to it. And right here, it's actually bent it and almost taken that curve out. Um, but we're gonna go on ahead and there's obviously no penetration. We wouldn't think that it would actually get through the plate. We're gonna go on ahead and check all the edges now too and just make sure and kind of take a look at what's happening with the coating. So in the other videos, the 308 and the 30-06 round, this was the 308 and this was the 30-06, they, you could tell that there was already starting to be just a few gas leaks there. Um, and you could see kind of some of the silver stuff coming out. That's a pretty good indicator that you're starting to get leaks in the coating. But to be honest with you guys, um, we're still getting fragmentation control on a 12 gauge slug after five rounds here. We're still getting pieces and parts of that 12 gauge slug getting caught um, in that coating. So yes, is the coating cracking here? Yeah, but I bet I can peel this back and you can probably see some of that fragmentation start kind of falling out of there and you can see how much is still actually encapsulated. So we'll work our way around. We know there's cracks there. You go to the underside of the plate though, and this is still this is still holding up pretty well. We've got a we've got a little crack there, um, but it doesn't look like anything's actually coming out. Kind of move this plate around on the bottom and come all the way back home here. So um, you can kind of see the coating is starting to crack here just a little bit too, um, and a lot of bulging there. But guys, five rounds already on that plate and your sixth being a one ounce 12 gauge slug at 20 feet. That's pretty good for that coating. So there you have it, um, your Steel Ops XP Pro plate, uh, 20 feet, 12 gauge, uh, one ounce slug on your uh, Steel Ops XP Pro plate.